St. Patrick's Day weekend kicks off today. And before you get started on the corned beef and Guinness, you can get your homemade Irish soda bread underway. Joining us now from Clear Flower Bread, Nicole Walsh. Thanks for being here. Thanks Nicole. for having me. We so appreciate excited. you coming. So explain a little bit about what soda bread is and what sets it apart from other loaves, other bread. Okay, well, it is um, essentially a giant scone. So it's traditional in Ireland. Um, it's usually made in sort of cottage bakeries there. Um, but it is a very quick mix. So other breads like this are going to take several hours, even two up to two days to make. Um, this is going to be within just a few minutes. We're going to be mixing and um, shaping and getting our bread. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. get right into the exciting stuff. Okay, so we see you have some supplies with you today to show us how to make this at home. Yep. So let's get started. What's the first step? So we're going to put all of our dry ingredients and cut in our butter to our flour here. We've got a little caraway seed, which is a really nice um, sort of unique flavor. Um, and we're just going to add our wet straight into it. So we want to cut the butter in a little bit. It's going to coat the flour in some fat so that the um, flour doesn't suck up the liquid that we're putting in. And you're going to um, first actually add your, we have some hydrated currants and raisins. So those are going to go in the mix here. So those go in first. Those go in first. Okay. And then we are just going to dump in our wets pretty quickly, and it's going to turn into um, turn into a bread. A little wild here. It already smells great. We're not <laughs> even there yet. Super quick mix. And we are going to listen to the mixer, and it's going to tell us when it's done. So that's all it is. That's all it is. Why so is it so much easier? It's so I, I say it's a scone. Make it at home. It's a scone. Yes, it's a scone. It does. It does. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So then, what do we do here for the next step? So we're going to actually take it out of the bowl and dump it on the counter here. I'm going to use some flour. Sorry. Use some flour here. Always flour your surface so your dough is not sticking to it. Um, and you know we make hundreds and hundreds of these during the first couple weeks weeks of March, and uh, on St. Patrick's Day we'll have a line around the block just for just for this. So we're just going to take it here on the table. See, it looks very rough and messy, and that is what we are going for. So now for those watching who are like me, I'm more of a cook and less of a baker. What should they be looking for in their dough, right, so that they're not panicked? Because I would be afraid of messing this up all the way from the beginning. I would say less is more for this. You really don't want to mix it too long. So the shagginess of this is actually really great for this. Okay. You're going to want these butter pieces in there to have um, sort of tenderize the dough inside. So it's not your tr traditional sort of uh, gluten-based bread. It's just a really delicate like a biscuit or a scone. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so we just kind of flip it over like this. Kind of like a little hockey puck. This is there. a fun little project you could do with your family. Too. You can it's do, so oh yeah, easy. my three year old mixes this. We're, um, Much less scary than sourdough. It, <laughs> exactly. Yes, it is. And it's, it's so easy. And you can have this in the oven within um, moments. We like to let it rest for about 20 minutes um, just so that the flour can absorb and everything sort of is homogenous before it goes in the oven, but you can just bake it right away. I want to away. ask you real quick, because you have a lot of other yummy things here. What else do you guys do at your bakery? What else do you, do you, do you bring for us The here? better question is what we don't do. Um, <laughs> we do so much. We do laminated um, pastries. We do cookies, tarts, cakes. Um, Everything that you sort of What's under the What's most spoon. popular? What do you what do you like the best? Our chocolate croissant um, is, I think, my personal favorite. It's just mm. a classic, and I think if someone can do a good croissant, then you know they have the skills. Um, and then we do um, traditional breads. So we do German, Italian, French breads. We have. Um, French baguettes that come out of the oven twice a day, so Oof. everything is nice and please dig oh, in. Oh, it's really, the croissant <laughs> is really delicate. I'm making a big mess. It's Perfect. Really That's what it should do. Um, yeah, so oh, we. So good. <laughs> Wow. So happy. Yes, so we, we sort of do it all, and we um, always try to highlight seasonal specials, which I think is um, special for us. So, wow. yeah. All right, Nicole, thank you so much for coming in. Claire F Flower Bakery. This is unbelievable. Thanks for Thanks the tips. Thanks for having yes, me. Yes. Thank you. And we'll be right back. All right, Nicole, so for those of us who are not going to bake but want to pick one up from you, tell us where we can do that. So we're on Thorndike Street, 178 Thorndike, between Harvard Ave and Calm Ave, and you can come check us out and our um, newly opened coffee shop with um, sandwiches.